disappear once every decade or so. But when they do show up, gypsy moths can cause major destruction to trees and property. As 13 as Andrew Bain has learned today, the moths are back again, but there are ways you can fight back. And I'm going to warn you, if you're in the midst of dinner right now, you may be excused because of the forthcoming visuals. Listen closely. Sounds like rain, right? Wrong. You can just stand still and hear. It sounds like raindrops. It's not. It's actual feces from the caterpillars dropping on to the soil. Jodine Carter and her husband bought this cabin on the edge of Livingston County five years ago, and it was quiet and peaceful. This is where we go to relax, just to get away from everything. Well, this is where we used to go to relax, to get away from everything. Now they have unwanted guests. Thousands of these guys. Here is the door, our main door, the only way to get into our cabin, and it is covered. It's just gross. This is disgusting. And they just keep dropping out of the sky. They're called gypsy moths. A gypsy moths is a uh, imported pest insect that uh, I guess in the 18s got brought here from France. Charlie May, the owner of Mayflower's Nursery and Garden in Canandaigua, says these bugs only show up once in a while. It seems to be about a 10 to 15 year cycle from what I've experienced that we have hot spots and where people ask about it a lot and then it cools down you don't hear about it for a decade or so. But when they do show up, they are hungry, eating leaves on trees and laying eggs over and over until eventually there are thousands in one place. The Carters only have one defense right now. But just 10 minutes after blowing them all away, the bugs come back. And while this does work, it's only temporary. The bugs do return. So what is a long-term solution for stopping these things? There's some containment methods. You know, the people use like sticky bands or tree banding or tree tar or upside down duct tape or a lot of things like that to prevent them from making it up the tree. May says there are sprays that can help, but they are hard to find right now. We've had like the same 20 bottles on the shelf for about the last 15 years until last year. And this year, you can't get any anywhere. <laughs> Andrew Banus, 13 Wham News. All right. May says gypsy moths are most attracted to maple and oak trees. He says routinely checking leaves for bite marks is a good way to monitor whether you have a moth problem or <laughs> maybe just listen. All right.